and now we'll transition into the El Salvador game really here. We can't have a game like El Salvador where it takes us a ha- a, an entire 45 minutes to get into the game, right? Um, that, that game kind of worried me a little bit. Um, that should not have been a one nothing game. El Salvador is a tough team, but it's not a team that we should only be beating one nothing at home. Um, I'm a little worried about Pulisic's ineffectiveness when it comes to playing in CONCACAF just seems like he never really creates. And I know he's, he's on pace. He's going to have records on records on records on records, but it feels like more often than not teams are just hitting him hard and he's not getting anything done. All right. Well, I'm trying not to waffle on too much because uh, I know there were like a couple of other points that we wanted to talk about. So yeah, that's why I'm transitioning to the El Salvador game. We're done with Canada. We're moving on. We're going to talk about Honduras after that. And then we'll do our little, little notes on the roster. All right, so transition to the El Salvador game. Um, Already did. No, I'm saying, I'm just saying that's what we're doing. Ah, Relax I just, over I, there. Relax. I'm going to reach to the computer and fight you. Wouldn't be the first time you tried to do that. <laughs> um, yeah, like you said, it wasn't a clean game. It, it was anything but clean, but who cares at the end of the day? We got three points. That's We can we can complain all we want about how messy the whole qualifying process was for us as long as we're complaining about it on the plane to Qatar I don't care I don't care at all like I as long as we are in the World Cup that's what that's what matters to me I think it's regardless and regardless of even like how we perform at the World Cup just being there is huge for the game um, in this country and for the USMNT program I feel like it will just get so many more eyes on it and grow the game even more I mean that was like one of the reasons that I got into it It was 2014 when they were playing in the world cup watching the u.s play and like hold their own against portugal and you know beat ghana it was it was insane it was so fun i loved it and then from that point forward i was hooked so i think uh getting results like that is hugely important regardless of how clean it was i I completely agree with everything you said there and that's that's a whole nother episode talking about what the World Cup means for the state of football in America and, and all that good stuff. Um, one more on the, uh, the, on the El Salvador game, one more little uh, tidbit here. Defensively, you really can't ask for much more. I don't think Turner really did much of anything. Greg has the defense locked in. No yeah. question. Yeah. Obviously, the attack is worrying. What did you take of Jesus Ferreira? I would say I don't know if I necessarily see him as like a lone striker. I think he would be better in a situation like he had with Dallas where he can play with a striker like Pepe or so I guess maybe in this case, maybe someone like DK up top or maybe Josh Sargent. Uh, I don't know about Josh Sargent, but uh, I think he would be like, I think he's more creative than he is like just an out and out finisher. I think we definitely saw that this game. I mean, that was exhibit A of, of him being that way because I mean, he missed the sitter like right in front of the goal. I mean, that 10 times out of 10 needs to be in the back of the net. Um, but then he, you know, he made up for it a bit with the uh, nice cushion header to Anthony Robinson. So I still think he has a place in this team. I just don't think he's an out and out lone striker up top for us. I, I would tend to agree. I think, uh, I think he's still a little bit raw. Um, he's definitely got some adjustments to make in terms of the way he plays and fitting into a style, right? But um, a, a, a topic for another episode, but I think he's one of the first people out when it comes to the final 23 man in Qatar. I think he's close. And if he has a great season in, in MLS 2022, maybe we're talking a different story. But the way that he performed was... Not bad. I'm not going to say he had a bad game, but you can't bring those types of misses into the World Cup. You know what I mean? 